Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel, Lil Cricut Crafts. I just want to start out by saying thank you for being here. Like y'all are rocking my channel and keeping me just super happy. Like honestly, just super happy that my channel is going so well so far. I love sharing these DIY crafts with you. I love doing them by myself, but getting to video and share them with you and hear feedback and see feedback is just amazing. And it just makes me want to keep doing it every day. Unfortunately, I'm about to go back to work. So my videos are going to slow down, but I still plan on doing at least one a week. So keep staying tuned. Once I decide that perfect day to post them, now that I'm doing two teaching jobs, I will let you know that day and time so you know when to expect them because I am definitely gonna keep you up to date on what I am going to be doing so that I can hear from you and see if you're doing it as well. So with that being said, let's get into our project of the day. idea to share with you it involves this 8 by 10 canvas from Dollar Tree and my Cricut of course we're going to actually reverse canvas this take the canvas off and the frame that it's in will actually be in front so let's go ahead and get started the first thing I'm going to do is take my exacto knife and I'm going to cut the edge so that this canvas comes off separated from our frame, I'm going to take the little bits um, from the staples off the back. Now we have just our wooden frame. You can keep it this color if you would like. It would still look pretty good um, with the canvas. Um, on the back side of it, but me, I'm going to paint mine. So I am using um, Apple Barrel Nutmeg color um, to paint my wooden frame um, for my canvas project. I got this from Walmart for like maybe $2. going to turn my dried painted um, wood frame over to the back. I didn't paint the back because it's going to be covered anyways. And I'm going to take my canvas that I took off and I'm going to put the face side down. So when I turn it over, the, can the good canvas is on the inside of our wooden frame. What I'm going to do is put hot glue all around the edges and stick this on just like I have it here. You have our lines to know how to line it up evenly. And then I will cut the excess off of the canvas. backwards canvas frame and now it's time to put our decal on it now I'm in Cricut Design Space starting a new project I'm gonna hit the text and I'm gonna write what I want which I'm going to write I and then enter love enter you because I want them to be lined up exactly like that on my canvas I'm going to go up and select a font that I want. I actually used um, just a taller basic one that Cricut Design Space has in the system. So I have my font that I want for that. Now I'm going to hit text again and I'm going to add more because my sign is going to say I love you more. It's a common saying in my family. Um, I picked my um, font. I actually downloaded that one from defont.com a while back. Now I'm going up to letter space, 
shrinking it down so all my letters touch. Then I'm gonna go to the right bottom corner and weld them together, making it one whole decal. Then I downloaded these flourishes from Etsy for $1 and I'm going to ungroup them and erase the ones that I don't need. I'm only going to use one of them ultimately, but they come as one big group. So I'm just going to go to ungroup at the right hand corner at the top and delete all the ones that I don't want. Now I am going to split this flourish into two pieces because it's going to be on both sides of the word more. So I'm gonna add a shape. I'm gonna cover part of the flourish. I'm going to click Command and then click my flourish. And I'm gonna go down to the bottom right corner and hit Slice. Then I can click on those and delete them. Now I don't have the feather on the other side. I'm going to resize my flourish and put it kind of where I want it on the words. And then I'm going to Click on the flourish, go up to the right top corner, hit duplicate, turn it around and put it on the other side. So this is just gonna be a cute look on my canvas. So I'm going to adjust them um, to the size I just think that they'll be good. Then I'm going to highlight the entire um, decal with the flourishes and included because I know that my canvas is only seven and a half inches across so I need to be sure that I'm making this the right size. When I click one flourish and then hit command and click the other I can go up to a line and hit center. Now they will be at the same height. I'm not making them um, grouped with the word more, just in case anything goes wrong, I can add them separately. So now we have all of our decals. Make sure that I love you decal is attached at the bottom right hand corner. And now I'm going to make my decal. up on the little um, flourishes that I was gonna put on the more so I'll have to fix those later but for now I'm gonna show y'all how to finish the project um, without the flourishes because you can add those or you don't have to anyways so now we are going to take our I don't have the big heat press I have this little mini heat press um, and it does the job just fine for what I use it for. I don't do t-shirts or anything. So these little ones is perfect for what I use it for. And it's just a super cute handheld and it is very powerful. It gets very hot on three different settings. You can also get these at Michael's and I think you can get them on Amazon too. And I will link this in the description below as well. Now, secondly, the thing we're going to use is wax paper. Pick this up at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, anywhere you can get this, it's super cheap. Um, what I do is I put my wax paper between my decal and the iron, so I'm not putting direct heat right on the decal. So minus the flourishes I'm going to add to the word more, here is our finished product. I love you more. It's simple and cute and I just love these simple little things we can do, especially we can do ourselves. Um, I love the way it turned out but I am going to add those flourishes right here and right here to kind of go out into the canvas. Um, I'll probably do that later but um, for now I just love how it looks and I can't wait to hang it up. I hope you guys like this little DIY and you can customize it and make it your own. 
Um, I hope this helped you and please if you like this like and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all the DIYs I am going to keep on doing for you guys and I can't wait to hear from you next time.